AARP is celebrating their 60th anniversary with volunteers serving Tampa Bay for decades, providing education, advocacy, and community service. Here to tell us more is Michelle Sear. Good morning. Hi there. Thank you for having me this morning. This is an exciting time, I think, for you guys to be a part of the show because uh, this is pretty grand, I think, to celebrate 60 years. Remind everybody, maybe you're approaching that age, maybe you're a caregiver. AARP, what would we do without you guys? You know, we've had our volunteers here in the community for over 50 years um, providing education, advocacy, community service, um, and honestly, we couldn't do it alone. We do it as a collaborative effort with wonderful community partners, and again, we're really celebrating our volunteers because yeah. we certainly could not do it without them. So I don't think I realized how many volunteers you had and what they do. What are some of the things that these volunteers do? So there are hundreds of volunteers around the Tampa Bay area. Um, everything from our driver safety program where they're teaching people how to um, drive safely, okay. how to really get to know their vehicles, how um, rules of the road have changed over the years. We also have a tax aid program uh, that does people's taxes free of charge, even the e-filing, and we tax season's mm -hmm. coming up. We can certainly use some of those volunteers. Um, and we have volunteers as part of our Speakers Bureau that are doing education on things, everything from Medicare, Social Security, how to protect yourself from fraud. Uh, we also host a number of special events uh, with our community partners um, at, all over the Bay area and we need volunteers to help us with those as yeah. well. Yeah, well, and, and I want to make sure we give a shout out to the founder as well. Talk about uh, Dr. Ethel Percy Andrus, right? That is right. Uh, AARP's founder, Dr. Ethel, Ethel Percy Andrus, was a volunteer herself. She was also a caregiver for her mother. Uh, she was a high school principal in California in the 40s. Um, she left to caregive for her mother. When she returned, she found that uh, some of her former colleagues were living in very um, desperate times, oh. one of which was living in a chicken coop. And so Jeez. together, um, they formed kind of a, a grassroots yeah. organization to help uh, retired teachers with pensions and Medicare and Social Security so that they have access to financial security and health care. And who would have thought 60 years later now, the work and the, just the outreach that you guys are having across the nation. Exactly. And right here in Tampa Bay. Our volunteers are, are carrying on yeah. that legacy. Um, in fact, we have a long history right here in St. Petersburg because AARP's very first uh, AARP hospitality house and discount pharmacy was in downtown St. Pete. No way, I in did fact, not know that. Yes, yes, and we have an office still in St. Petersburg. Oh, that's cool. You have an event coming up that we would make sure and let people know about. What is that? We do. On September 27th, we're going to be celebrating Ethel's birthday along with um, really recognizing all of the volunteers yeah. who have given so much over these decades here in the Tampa Bay area. And that's going to be hosted at the Museum of Fine Arts on September 27th. Okay, good deal. We'll make sure there's the uh, info there. And if people want to find out about volunteering, is it pretty simple to do to get on board and get started with that? Absolutely. You can learn more about what AARP is doing here in the community and what volunteer opportunities exist on our local website on the AARP Tampa Bay website. All right. Sounds good. Again, always a pleasure to have you and your team here. Thank you for all you do for our community. 